the various parts. The Minister for Karamoja Affairs, Mary Goretti Kitutu, returned to the Presidential Affairs Committee of Parliament today, ready to offer an apology for how iron sheets meant for reformed warriors in the sub-region were regularly distributed. Honorable Chairperson and Honorable Colleagues, I pray that and all Ugandans accept my sincere apology. I thank you. In her apology, she also apportioned blame on an accounting officer in the ministry. I would wish to know if she received any guidance from somewhere that led to her donations of these iron seats, even if it was not proper. When I said that I was not guided, normally the head of the technical teams, that's the PS, is always supposed to be guiding ministers, and I did not receive that. I wonder how the whole ministry and all government can ask for the supplementary in response of the challenges in Karamoja without a policy guideline. Members of the committee insisted that the minister should take full responsibility. Are you owning the apology as a lead person for the whole mismanagement of the Iron seats meant for Karamoja sub region. I'm owning it as the minister responsible. Thank you so much. This was after she was put on oath for what the MP say were conflicting statements from the minister. They contended that Parliament could in no way have approved the 39 billion shilling supplementary budget without a plan. Of the money, 22 billion shillings was for the purchase of goats, 8 billion for the iron sheets, and 9 billion shillings for the restoration of peace and sensitization. Kitutu admitted that she took 3,000 iron sheets. But why did you store these things with your parents or your relatives? That is the nearest to the school. And why that's didn't you not give to the, the school? No, the school does not have a store. The donation was for a school, but it was okay. being stored okay. at home. So why, whatever why happened you... there, mm. no, uh, I have projects, like I already even have a dormitory. Is it, is it among the 3,000 you, you donated to yourself? That is the component, yes, which I will give you the breakdown. So I want to know whether the mother and brothers and the villagers that benefited from this iron sheet syndrome syndrome, were they the Karachunas? In that side, or there were the Karachunas of Karamoja? Allegation that your mother and your brother have been selling iron seats. Set those people free. Not in bad faith. I imagine and what now, your, your family is going through. In the apology, Kitutu indicated that the diversion was in response to requests from different people, among them cabinet ministers. But the Speaker of Parliament, Anita Mong, and the Minister of Finance, Planning and Economic Development, Matia Kasaija, have stated before that they did not request for the iron sheets which were delivered to their constituencies. So I don't want other ministers to be pulled into what they are not concerned. Let everybody carry his own cross. Meanwhile, the State Minister for Karamoja Affairs, Agnes Nandutu, has told the committee that she was given 2,000 iron sheets with the Kitutu's instructions. Have you used them? Not yet, Madam Chair. The petitioners are saying those who are having the iron sheets, return them to them. What is their, your position? Uh, Madam Chair, I am ready to take advice of the committee. Jackson Onyango, NTV at Parliament. Aleppo,